Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the feats of strength shows performed in the past by legends like the Mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength you might see in some of my shows are things like bending steel bars, breaking chains, rolling up frying pans, twisting horseshoes, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman, and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer these questions. And in an effort to generate content for my YouTube channel, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I come back to you with your very own custom video, just for you. Pretty cool, right? So this question, comes from, hold on a second, my phone no longer recognizes my thumbprint. So this question comes from Manaswaran Devar, and they said, Eric, it's good info. Recovery is king. I have a new question. I read some articles of Zass training. He used to perform short ISO training with chains. Was he used only chain as his ISO equipment? ISO equipment, and here I don't see you train with chain, but just ISO board and some specific tools for your performance. What is the difference between what Zass did and yours? Zass's system was more to general isometric strength building. Thanks, coach. I say it again. You're kind enough to share this precious knowledge. I appreciate it, coach. I appreciate your questions, Manaswaran Devar and the fact that you are a frequent commenter on my channel, that sort of thing helps me out with the algorithm. And it also gives me content for which to upload so that I can try to stay on top of this thing. So the difference between my workout methods and Alexander Zass's methods, truth be told, when it comes to the information put out by the old timers, a lot of it is pretty murky. Um, a lot of it is them trying to sell systems and in doing so, everybody has the secret, but they don't really give away all the secrets. Um, so one of the things to also keep in mind is that Zass wasn't just a steel bender. He was also a circus performer. So like, I mean, he... His original job in the circus, if I remember correctly, wasn't even performing feats of strength. It was actually um, training horses. And if I remember correctly, he was also an acrobat. But one of the things specific to being a circus performer is that these guys would rehearse multiple times a day and doing multiple shows a week. And in doing so, the rehearsal itself is kind of like strength training. So with the various feats that he was doing, he's doing some very specific things towards the feats in that he's actually doing the feats as part of rehearsal. Now, as for what he's doing with the chains, with like pulling the chain and pushing uh, on uh, various things, and there's a, a picture of him pulling back on one with his neck. Um, I'm, he probably did that to supplement his training, but it's, it's a, one of the things also when it comes to this stuff, it's very difficult to speculate from being an outsider looking in. Even though I've got my foot in the strongman world, being that I am a modern day performer, each one of us has our own unique methods of doing so. And even when we have our own unique methods, we don't do it exclusively all the time. I myself have gone through multiple phases of my training journey, ranging from working out with machines in a gym to working out with free weights in the gym to working up pretty much with just body weight 
to working out with kettlebells exclusively to working out with kettlebells and barbells to working out with specific to isometrics and various feats. And even then, it's like sets and rep ranges and stuff like that and um, exercise order. All of these things change throughout the year as you grow stale on things and you evolve as an athlete and you accumulate new methods while getting rid of old methods and this continual process. Um, now, if you are looking to train in this sort of thing, I would recommend just getting all around strong first. Um, you can, and there's many, many methods methods of doing this. One of the classic rite of passages, and I haven't found a lot of information on it, but it does come from credible sources, is doing a Turkish getup with around 100 pounds. Prior to starting my strongman journey, I was doing that with the beast, which is 48 kilograms, which is also around 106 pounds. That gave me a pretty good foundation of strength, to which my first mentor, the late great Greg Matonic was able to cultivate it and like um, show me how to apply that strength that I had built up towards feats of strength. And um, I was able, I continued my general strength training while also training specific to the feats. So anyways, Manaswaran, I hope that answers your question. If anybody wants more information or they need follow up or they have questions of their own, Drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. Now, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button if you want to see more of this sort of thing or you want to see the chronicles from my various performances that I do. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you think that anybody should see this, please share it with them. You know how this YouTube thing works. But in the meantime, please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong. Eric Moss, over and out.